In this video, we'll demonstrate how to retrieve and view ABS and traction control faults using the Wabco Toolbox software. The Wabco braking equipment has been fairly standard for the past decade, but there have been recent changes in the 2013-2014 vehicle model year. The earlier version, what we call the legacy system, used the J1708 network for diagnostic communications, whereas the current versions use J1939. This video demonstrates how to retrieve and view faults on the legacy system for the Wabco Toolbox software. To begin, select the Wabco Toolbox icon on the diagnostic laptop. From the main menu, select J1708 Toolbox. Now select the Connect button by clicking on the Truck icon. When the connection is established, all fields will populate with the relevant data. Notice under the Faults heading that there are no existing faults, but there are stored faults for this vehicle. In order to drill down to the existing and or stored faults, click on the ABS box with the image of a highway trailer. This brings you to the Fault Information page. This page provides you with the fault name, fault type, either active or inactive, the number of times the fault occurred, SID or system identifier, and FMI, which is failure mode identifier. For each fault, the repair instructions will be provided, which will assist you in troubleshooting the fault. You can double click on the fault name for additional information on the potential cause and remedies, such as the suspect component and location. In this case, it is the J1939 data link. The fault description, the fault indication, which will be displayed through the ABS indicator light, the cause of the fault, the system reaction, and repair information. This should give you the necessary information to get started with the Wabco Toolbox software. And remember to close out of the Wabco software by clicking the red X box in each menu.